When I'm rushed and looking for something really satisfying for dinner and something quick, I almost always turn to pasta. And one of my favorite pasta sauce recipes is called Simple Fresh Tomato Sauce. Even though it isn't made with fresh tomatoes, it's earned that name because in the end it tastes amazingly fresh. And it's only a few ingredients, most of which you probably can have in your pantry and your refrigerator. So let me tell you what goes in here. Into our sauce pot we're going to put some Italian tomatoes. Make sure you get the best you can find. These are San Marzano tomatoes and they make really fabulous sauces. Into our tomatoes we're going to put four tablespoons of butter. If you need to lower the fat in this recipe, certainly you can, but don't leave all of the butter out. It's an important flavor element. We're also going to add half an onion. Now this is the part that makes this incredibly easy. Just cut the onion in half, take the peel off, and put the whole thing into the sauce. Yes, the whole half an onion. We're not going to cut it up. It's going to flavor the sauce, then we're going to take it out. If you wanted to serve that on the side, as a side vegetable, certainly you could, or you could cut up the onion and use it for something else, which of course is what the Italians would do. And to our tomato mixture, we're going to add just a little bit of sugar. Last but not least, we need to add the most important fresh ingredient, and that's fresh basil. So to use the fresh basil, we're going to, we have about eight fresh basil leaves here, and we're going to keep one out for a garnish. The rest of these we're going to stack into a nice neat stack and roll into a roll from one side to the other. And then we're going to slice these into shreds. This is called chiffonade. It means shredded. And there we have beautiful basil shreds. Let's get these right into our sauce. This sauce needs to simmer for about 20 minutes. So this is the time you can take to cook the pasta. Now this is kind of a medium consistency sauce. You could serve this on spaghetti. You could certainly put it on penne or something a little heartier, a stuffed pasta, maybe ravioli or tortellini. It's really nice on gnocchi as well. So let this simmer for about 20 minutes and we're going to serve it on some spaghetti. Okay, so our simple fresh tomato sauce has been cooking and simmering for about 20 minutes and it's done. It's ready to serve on our hot cooked pasta. We're ready to go. So the first thing you need to do before you serve this is to take out that onion. Remember we talked about this before. You could slice this and serve it as a side dish or maybe save it and put it in an omelet tomorrow and cut up. It's just a flavoring agent for this sauce. And here is our beautiful sauce. So wait till you taste this. It's not like anything you've ever had before. Look at that, the beautiful colors of Italy. Red, white, and green. Mm -mm -mm. This brings back a lot of memories for me. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do.